I'm Tom Patton with Aero TV, and we're talking now with Ryan Reed. And Ryan is with uh, MCI. You've got several things that we have introduced here at the uh, at the convention and trade show. Let's talk first about the SAM. Sure, Tom. Yeah, this is a uh, one of our newest products, the MD302 Standby Attitude Module. Uh, as you can see, it has your that's SAM attitude, Standby Attitude Standby module. Attitude Module. There you SAM, go. Yeah, <laughs> attitude, airspeed, altitude. Uh, slip ball and uh, vertical trend indicator, which is kind of neat there. So, um, now, you know, for a standby module, what does that mean basically? It means it's its own self contained system. Uh -huh. It does have a standby power supply, so if you ever do lose main ship power, it would immediately take over and you could continue to fly and uh, find a safe location to land. Okay, and internal gyros and, and it is, everything yeah. that it needs. Solid state gyros and accelerometers. Mm -hmm. They work together to always find where the ground is and then display that for the pilot. So then what is the market for an instrument like that? It's a wide range of market actually, you know. Mm -hmm. All the parts, part 23, 25, 27, and 29, uh, fixed wing and helicopters. Uh, you'll see common installations paired up with G500s or G1000 type PFDs and MFDs. Mm -hmm. So anybody looking for an upgrade, if they want to replace mechanical instruments, mm -hmm. um, the versatility of this, you can install it in the horizontal or vertical. Okay. So it leaves you for a lot of options when there's not a lot of panel space. So basically you're talking about an installation in a situation where the, the airplane has a full glass panel. This takes the place of the, the three basic steam gauges that would have been left over to fly the airplane in case everything else goes away. Correct, yeah, fully electrical. All right, well then we've got, um, this, this is an interesting little item here, um, and it's obviously a USB port. What's the functionality for that? Absolutely, it's our TA-102. It's our dual USB port, so mm -hmm. you can actually charge two tablets or iPads at the same time. Uh, and the interesting thing about our port, besides the size and how small and contained it is, is that you can charge two iPads at the same time mm -hmm. um, and get that 2.1 amps per port. So, And how does that install? Uh, we do have several installation options. Generally, you'll see it behind the panel. It is TSO approved, mm -hmm. uh, and you'll just see that front silver portion of it. Okay. We also have a what we refer to as a rear mount panel or uh, installation, where you can get a brushed aluminum cover that can be anodized, plated, mm -hmm. uh, whatever you'd like to do to match the interior of the aircraft. There's also a lighted version too, so you can install them in the cabin, in the back. Uh, it's a really and handy it's, unit. It's mostly. Uh, uh, not a cockpit item, but it's a back of the airplane item? Um, no, it can be installed in the cockpit mm -hmm. and also in the back. So, so you said it was, uh, you had a TSO for it, so it's, it's yes. been through the process. Yes. Was, what was that process like for an item like this? You think about instruments and you think right. about transponders and things of that nature, but this is basically a plug. <laughs> you know, for the most part, it's power. It doesn't have uh, any software in it. It's not doing any data, so you're going to have your standard um, you know, the DO-160 that most instruments and mm -hmm. things go to, but there is an actual TSO number for uh, USB ports. So. And then finally on our list is a power inverter, the TI-250, and right. that one is for bringing uh, basically alternating current to run your laptop Absolutely. back into the airplane. Sure. <laughs> um, you may be familiar with some of our other uh, inverters that we've come out with. This is the newest one to the inverter family. Um, it does deliver our 250 watts of true blue power that can be, the interesting part about this inverter is the size. Mm -hmm. um, it's all contained, there aren't any extra fans so you don't have to worry about heating issues. And it can be put inside the uh, sidewall possibly for um, power to plug, a wall plug, so mm -hmm. that's what you're getting is the 115 outlet power, so you can charge your iPads, iPhone, or your, you know, small electronics like a laptop. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about, and you know, I've been talking with a lot of folks that we've had on here this week about the regulatory process and what it takes to get things like this through the process and sure. actually into the hands of consumers and installed in airplanes. Are you finding that regulatory process to be an impediment or is it something that that you're finding you're able to work with easily and, and bring these products to airplanes? Well 
in our industry, obviously, it's a small knit community. So there's always somebody that's willing to help out and kind of get through some of those hurdles that you just talked about. With the regulatory stuff, you know, it's a challenge to find the consistencies between each group and to do some of that. With some of these products, it's a little bit easier because there isn't any software involved. It's mechanical switching, it's you mm -hmm. know, inverting. Um, with some of our software products, it can be a little bit challenging, uh, but we do have options out there like STC processes, field approvals, uh, and, and they are being done. So, Is there something that about this uh, standby attitude module that, I mean, what, what sets it apart? There are several of these on the market. So what is it that sets apart uh, this one from, from Midcon? Well, I'd say there's several things. Um, for one, it is all self-contained in this unit. There isn't a side installation or whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's a very easy installation. Uh, it's simply power and ground, pedo and static ports. Um, so with that ease and location, it usually fits in a panel where other units may not because of the size and dimensions of it. Mm -hmm. When you look at um, these types of, uh, of things and you have a, a kind of a broad spectrum of things, is that a direction for Midcontinent, for the company to be able to sure. offer a, a wide variety of products in, in the aftermarket realm that will, that will make life easier in a cockpit sure. or the back of the airplane? It absolutely is. We have a great relationship with our customers. We listen to what their needs are. Um, right now, power and displays are very important to them. As True Blue Power grows further, we're going to see more and more of those options. And the same thing with the Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics side. So we're very excited. What's down the road? I mean, if you were able to look in a crystal ball and say, here's where I think the avionics industry is going to go, and I know you couldn't talk about anything proprietary, but in a general sense, because we've seen such huge advancements with the interfaces with right. tablet devices and, and so many things. If you were to look into your crystal ball, what do you think you might see? Oh, I'm seeing something just like you're speaking about with the iPad, not maybe not an iPad, but some sort of tablet that you come with your flight plan pre-set in there and it just plugs right into your aircraft. Um, maybe it's that, maybe it's a standby, maybe it can revert. Uh, the power options are going to be, who knows what kind of plug we're going to be moving to. Mm -hmm. USB is the, thing, is the thing now, but, you know, they're, they change about every five, ten years. So. Well, of course, the one that goes in the iPad is different than the one that yeah. went into the previous version of the that. The lightning cable versus the older one, so it, they keep progressing and changing, and data is becoming quicker, and so it's going to be pretty amazing. Well, Ryan, we really appreciate you taking some time to come and talk with us today. It's, a, it's always a pleasure to learn about some of the new things that are coming out of your company, and, and uh, always good to see you here at yeah, AEA. very good to see you, too. Thanks, Great, Tom. thanks very much. Great. Aero TV's coverage of the 57th annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Nashville, Tennessee, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Aspen Avionics offers the most flexible and affordable certified synthetic vision system. Try it now, absolutely free, during your first 10 hours of flight when you purchase an Aspen Avionics EFD-1000 Pro primary flight display. Customizable display layouts enhance the data you need when you need it. Once you try Aspen's Evolution Synthetic Vision, we think you'll never look at your PFD the same way again. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com